Hello everyone, you're welcome once more to MEPH, your YouTube channel where we solve problems on math, covering the different topics. You can go through the channel, check different topics, watch the videos, try to attend them before watching so that you can be able to learn it too. So, right, I'm the tutor Mr. Fuki here, and uh, today we have a question on the board. You know, we are going to try to develop a further equation given that you are giving the roots of the equation. All right, so let's get right into the question and solve it together. If you don't mind, you can pause this video and, and, and attend the question before you come back to the video. All right, so our solution, okay. Now, the given quadratic equations are based on this. So, we are, it's a reverse problem. So, x is equal to 2 over 3 and what? x is equal to minus 3 over 4. Let's say when you solve the quadratic equation, you come and arrive at this. You come and arrive at this as the roots. So from this, we can now begin to solve further. What do I do at this point? I'm going to what cross multiply. Okay, so this three will multiply this. Okay, so we have three x. Because this is over one. Three will times this, which is three x and one will multiply this, which is what, two. Now for this part, we are going to do the same. Four times this is four x, and one will multiply minus three, which is also minus three. Now our next step is, we want to what, make the what, right hand side, right hand side, you know, equals to zero. How do I do that? I'm going to say three x, of course, I have 2 here. I'm going to subtract 2 here. I'm also going to subtract 3. So that is becomes 0. So we have 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now for this part, I have 4x okay, equals to we have minus 3. How do I make this 0? I'm going to add 3. I'm also going to add 3 here. So that will give us 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. So this is our next step. Now you can put these two in brackets. All right. So let's proceed. All right. So the next thing is what is our next step from this and this? If you're solving quadratic equation, you come to realize that the product of this and this, okay, 3x minus 2 and this 4x plus three is equal to zero, okay? So that when you are solving the quadratic equation to get the rules, you know, you get to the point where this is equal to zero or this is equal to zero, where we have that A multiplied B is equal to zero, and we have that A is equal to zero or B is equal to zero. So we have, if this is equal to zero and this is equal to zero, as we have it, so it means that this times this can also be equal to zero. Okay. All right. So we have this expression using this the reverse form. Now from this we can open this, the bracket. So this three x is going to multiply four x plus three, okay, and minus two is all going is also going to multiply four x plus three is equal to zero. So once we open the brackets, we are done with developing the quadratic equation. So let's quickly open the brackets. So this will multiply this, okay? So we have 3 times 4 is what? 12. x times x is x squared, okay? Now we have 3x multiplied plus 3. So 3 times 3 is what? 9. And we have x. Okay, so we are done with this bracket. Now we'll work on this. So we have minus 2 times what 4. That will give us minus 8. And we have x minus times plus is going to give us minus 2 times 3 is going to give us 6, which is equal to 0. So we have this as 12x squared. Okay, plus 9x minus 8x is going to give us plus x minus 6 is equal to 0, all right? So from this point, 
we have been able to develop a quadratic equation given these rules 2 over 3 and minus 3 over 4. So that gives us the solution to this problem. So if you don't mind, you can hit the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and share this video to somebody that may be of help. I will see you guys in my next one.